Hi, I'm Karen, and this is my handmade home in Los Angeles. So I actually signed the lease to this apartment exactly five years ago today. I had a roommate for those five years, but he decided to move a few months ago. So I finally had the chance to redecorate the entire place. This is the first time in like a decade that I've lived by myself. So I finally got to make the place entirely my own. So when we moved into this place, it had recently been remodeled with the really trendy gray floors and gray cabinets and gray walls. And I am so sick of the gray. I'm so over it. I dream of white walls but I'm renting, so I can't really do much, so I'm just trying to make the best of it. The biggest change has been turning my roommate's old room into my new craft studio, so it gives me so much more space for all of my craft supplies. I've gotten them out of the living room and out of my bedroom. You can see in all of this before footage that we had so much storage out here in the living room. We never really used the dining room table as a dining room table. It was really just my workspace. And since all of my stuff was out here, I never truly felt like I was disconnected from work. So when I redecorated, I really wanted it to feel clean and open, but still cozy. My tendency is to fill every empty space with stuff and more stuff. So keeping the TV stand so minimalist has been such a victory for me. The biggest thing is that I wanted to keep the color scheme across the entire apartment cohesive. So we have a lot of black and white, a lot of natural wood, which I think really warms the space up, lots of pastel pink, and then some pops of green from all of my plants. And this time when I redecorated, I really tried to be mindful of every item that I had out on display and making sure that it was cohesive with the rest of the apartment. For a long time, I don't know why, I was just so against natural wood. I just had all of my furniture was white, but recently I've gotten way more into it and I think having so much wood just makes the space feel a lot cozier. It brings in some natural elements to this cold gray box of an apartment. Also, for some reason, when I was brainstorming what I wanted for the apartment, I just had my heart set on pink dining room chairs and now I have them. So my favorite part of the apartment has to be the shoe shelf. I honestly don't even wear most of these shoes, but I just love collecting interesting shoes and I love that I can finally display them all in one place. I'm obsessed. Probably the best thing that I bought for this apartment is this little wooden side table that just slots over the armrest of your couch. It's pretty tight in here, so I don't have space for a real side table, and I replaced the coffee table with a leather ottoman. So I needed somewhere to just put down a cup, and this has been the perfect solution. I like it so much, I got one for both arms of the couch. So I actually didn't do a ton of DIY projects out here in the living room. I painted this planter, which used to be a silver uh, trash can, and I painted the wall art that's in the dining room, which is actually made from the wood boards that came in the box that was holding the TV stand, like to stabilize it. Large wall art can be so expensive, so when I had these huge pieces of wood that I basically got for free, I was just like, I can paint on these, I can make some art. But speaking of DIY projects, I actually did way more DIY over in my bedroom, so let's head in there. So fun fact, I've actually been filming my bedroom for the last few years every time that I do a big redecoration. So let me take you back in time and you can see that it used to be very pink and very colorful in here. I basically created the dream bedroom of 
13 year old me. But just like the living room, I had to have tons of storage in here because this had to function both as a bedroom and as a filming studio. So there was just a lot of stuff literally everywhere. So a few years back, I decided to start toning down on the bright pink and the unicorns and bring in a lot more black and white. And I finally had the idea to put up curtains in front of the bookshelves to hide all the clutter. I don't know why it took me so long to do that. But obviously the biggest change came when I could get all of the storage out of here and rearrange this room to only function as a bedroom. And you can see that I really, really tried to tone down the clutter. I tried to keep surfaces fairly clear, but at least all within the same more calm color scheme and just make the space feel a little more relaxed as opposed to how chaotic it used to be. So there are DIY projects literally everywhere in this room. I painted this $5 vase, which is actually inspired by this cup that I got from Tiny Badger Ceramics. This used to be a boring, plain old clothes rack, so I added yarn to the top and the sides and I wrapped ivy around it. So now it both divides the room and it lets me use my favorite clothing as decoration. On the bottom, I got a piece of wood custom cut at the hardware store to act as a shelf, and then I filled it with my little succulent garden, which are all in planters that I painted myself. And these are all fake succulents because not a lot of sunlight reaches down there. On the nightstand, I painted this planter, which used to be a plain terracotta hanging planter. I made this faux fur tissue box in a handmade video ages ago. And I also painted the unicorn lamp black, which lets me keep a little bit of the unicorns in this room, but it's not quite so in your face. This lighting setup is probably what I am the most proud of in here. It was such a pain to set up, but it came out really well and it makes the room a lot cozier. It's the perfect reading light at night. And another one of my favorite projects is this laundry basket liner, which I sewed out of a tablecloth. It makes the laundry basket a piece of deliberate decor that matches the rest of the room. And then I actually used the other half of that tablecloth to sew these panels for the bottom of my bed, which hide all of the storage boxes that I have under there. So I've got a little confession to make. Literally all of the plants in my apartment are fake. Well, no, that's not true. I have one tiny real plant in the kitchen, but everything in here is fake. Look, I'm busy. I don't have a green thumb. If I'm gonna be spending money on plants, I don't want them to die on me in a few weeks. So I just got fake everything. But in terms of styling this wall, I have a lot more DIY projects right here. So I painted this cork board and painting a large item like this is a great way to instantly refresh a space since it takes up so much real estate on the wall. I painted this painting and it doesn't mean anything. I just thought it was a cool texture. I painted these frames because I really love the look of black frames with white mats. So I cut the mats out of cardstock and this one is actually a piece of scrapbook paper that I just flipped over so that the white is on the outside. Oh, and this is also technically a DIY. I made this in a wood carving class in college and it's honestly just been in storage for years and years. So I'm so happy that I finally have a chance to pull it out and display it. This whole wall is what I look at when I'm lying in bed. And I know you're not supposed to do this, but I work from my laptop in bed quite a lot. So I'm always looking at all of this and I really wanted to style it into something calming and just something beautiful that I'm not gonna get tired of looking at. So with everything that's been going on this year and all of the shelter in place orders, I've been forced to become a lot more independent when it comes to home renovations. I hung this curtain rod all by myself. I was so proud. And I actually also sewed this tassel trim along the side of these plain white curtains that I had. It was 
so much cheaper than trying to buy curtains with tassels already on them. I also got this rug with a really nice natural texture and I put it in place under the bed all by myself. You don't even want to know how much sweat was involved in that. But I'm so happy with how everything came out and I really love my apartment, which is good because I live here, I work here, I'm here every day. So thank you for checking out my Los Angeles apartment. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Handmade to see more handmade home tours. If you wanna see a tour of my craft studio, that is a separate video, so we will link that right down below. And I'll see you all next time.